we're Move Utah Real Estate. I'm Erin, this is Trisha, and this is Ashley. And we have some five of our top seller questions that we wanna get answered today. So let's start out with kind of a funny one. Um, the first question, and we kind of get it more often than you would think is, my um, great grandmother passed away in this property. Do I have to disclose that to a potential buyer? What do you guys think? You know, that's a great question. A lot of people aren't sh quite sure whether or not this is a stigma type item that they need to disclose. Housing and Urban Development says that this is a stigma, so you actually don't have to disclose it. Yeah, so it kind of comes down to, uh, is the question is, do I have to? And the answer is no, right? However, um, you really should talk to your realtor. We're gonna, we're gonna have that answer a lot in this segment, but you really should talk to your realtor because it might not be in your best interest not to disclose that. So make sure you have a conversation about it, but right now, legally, no, you are not required to disclose if someone passed away in a home. And you know, if it was my great grandma, she's a pretty fun kind of gal. So yeah. houses. <laughs> We'd be, want her there. <laughs> yeah, so it would be okay to have the her watching over you. Yeah, It'd sure. be great. Okay, the next question, what are the top areas to update my house before I get it listed? And that's like one you get almost every yeah, Like all the time, right. So um, for sure, your kitchen, your great room, the spaces that your family or a family is going to spend most of their time in, your master bedroom your ma and your bathrooms are very important to update. It is a little bit of an it depends question again, because um, we're, what we would look at is, what are the other homes in the area? How are they updated? Um, how do they compare? What's the location? And then obviously the condition of your home, how it is right now, whether it needs updating or not, and how much updating it needs. And then for us, one thing that we really look at, of course, is the value you're gonna get. How much do you have to spend to do the updates versus the value that you're gonna get? That's a totally good point. Yeah. I would say even more than updating, you need to have that house in great condition. Yeah. The better condition you have, the more money you're gonna get out of it. Absolutely, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. The better your home shows, the more money you're gonna make in the long term, the more buyers you're gonna have that are interested in the home, for sure. And the next question actually kind of goes right along with that and it says, should we carpet, recarpet, and repaint the house before we actually get it listed? Again, <laughs> we, we hate to say this over and over, but definitely it's an it depends kind of thing. But in general, there are some very popular colors right now and we would like to see more neutrals, more towards the gray tones, the whites, maybe some grayages we call them right now. Um, which is kind of a, a gray and beige combination. Those types of colors are definitely gonna help your house sell a bit better than say you had a lime green kitchen wall, something like that, and we may ask you to update that. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. And, and the question to carpet is if your carpet is damaged or in really dif uh, bad condition, it's got maybe big stains or holes in it. For sure, if you update that, it's gonna make a big difference in how your home shows. And that's really what we're analyzing when we come in. We do a thing called a room by room review where we come into a potential seller's home and we look room by room to make suggestions that um, make sense for the seller and what they can do. But that's what we're looking for is what can we make, what can we do to make the house show its very best because again the way a house shows is going to make a difference in the offers that you get and how many that you get. Every buyer loves to walk into a home that smells new. Mm -hmm. You get this new paint smell, this new carpet smell. Well that's always going to be a bit of a help. For sure and we actually have a term for there's a if you live in a home it's something called nose blind um, which means that you don't always smell your own home. <laughs> so um, that's definitely something to consider is making sure that your home smells its best also is in addition, this good point, yeah. Ashley, in addition <laughs> to, to looking its best. So the next question is, is it smart to do a home inspection before I actually list the home? You know, we would never, I would say we would never discourage you from doing a home inspection, but we do live in a buyer beware state. So the buyer is the one that's actually responsible for doing a home inspection prior to purchasing the home. I mean, if you're worried about something showing up in the inspection or you think something might be wrong with your home, having somebody come out and look at that or do it, uh, an inspection so you can get ahead of that is definitely going to be helpful. But keep in mind, like Ashley said, the new buyer really can't use, well, typically doesn't use the home inspection from the seller because it's almost like the inspector worked for the seller. And that's why the buyer in, in our market here in Utah actually hires the home inspector. It's because that's who they work for is the buyer to discover any issues for sure. So our last question that we got from sellers was actually, what do I do with the pets that I love so much when I'm trying to sell my home? 
That's a great one. And, and pets are part of the family. We certainly appreciate that. Actually, interestingly enough, getting your home ready to sell and this, this process of selling can be very stressful for your pets. We actually see pets start to act up sometimes um, or get really, really stressed and have a lot of anxiety. So we've got some great tips for you. Make sure to reach out to us via email or text us. We can send you a report that we wrote about that. What else do you guys think about pets in the home? You know, I've been in a few homes that have some uh, funny little birds oh, that, yeah. you know, we, we may want to make sure that those cute little birds are not stressed out and they haven't pulled all their feathers out and put them all over the floor or gone through the HVAC system as, as they're fluttering through. So true. Um, so I would say if you can, make sure you get those, those cute little creatures out so that they're not chatting at the new buyers or sound like they're listening in on a conversation either. Yeah. Well, and we did talk in an earlier question about being nose blind. And uh, in the area of pets, a lot of times that is a place, right, where we see sellers nose blind because they're used to the smell or um, whatever, the dander that's in the home. If that's the very first thing somebody smells, that's gonna not be a positive. So making sure that you're taking care of any pet odors too is Absolutely. important as well. Really, Especially and so bottom they're... line, just, just try to have your pets not there when buyers are through your home. Yep. Perfect. Of course, check us out on YouTube and Instagram. Um, we have a website as well, movieutahrealestate.com, and we'd love to answer any more questions or reach out to us anytime. Follow us and like us.